Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of November 14th to the 20th. The November election brought a huge number of people to Civic Plaza for early voting. This is video of the line at Civic Plaza the day before Election Day. City Clerk Janet Lewis says now that you don't have to declare a reason to vote early, more people are taking advantage of that option. To put it in perspective, roughly 10% of people voted early in 2014, a similar non-presidential election year. In 2018, more than 22% of voters came to the polls early. Lewis says this change may mean dividing resources differently in upcoming elections. More people will be staffed at Civic Plaza to handle the influx in early voting turnout compared to staff at polling places on Election Day. If individuals are more likely to take advantage of early voting, then um, we need to make sure that we provide the resources for that opportunity and make sure that everyone has a positive voting experience in Bloomington. Um, I do want to just say um, I really am grateful for the staff, election staff, that participated, they helped, they supported the election process this year. Um, they do a phenomenal job and it's a, it's a long list of people who help in different capacities. And so a big thank you to all of you for helping. I just want to end with a quote by Sharon Salzberg. Uh, Voting is the expression of our commitment to ourselves, one another, this country and this world. So thank you everyone again for all of your help with elections. The City Council recently approved the construction of the Minnesota River Valley State Trail on city land. The project is being headed up by the Department of Natural Resources, but the trail will be built on both city and federal land. The recent council decision approved an agreement between the city and state, allowing the DNR to build the state trail on city land. The 72-mile trail between Fort Snelling State Park and the city of Lesseur has been in the works since the 60s, and many people see the Bloomington portion of the trail as the missing link. There's a lot of people that are really excited about the opportunity uh, that this is going to provide to uh, provide um, much greater access into the River Valley. I mean, it, it really is uh, one of Bloomington's greatest assets and, and uh, getting more people aware and down into that area I think is uh, just a good thing. In 2014, the legislature allocated money for the Bloomington section of the trail, and the money needs to be used by the end of the year. Over the last few years, the DNR has been working with the city and U.S. Fish and Wildlife on the design of the trail and environmental reviews required before anything is built. Construction of the trail will take place in phases and is likely to begin in late summer of 2019. Another item that will soon be in front of the city council, utility rates. Residents could see an increase in 2019. The City Council is considering a proposed 9% increase in water rates, a 4% increase in wastewater collection, and a 5% increase in storm drainage rates. The changes would help fund operating costs, the repair and replacement of aging water infrastructure, and help ensure continued compliance with state and federal regulations. These improvements are needed in order to continue delivering water and sewer services in a safe and efficient manner, protecting public health. While these increases are being considered, the city is still committed to providing rates among the lowest in the metro area. Bloomington has lower rates for softened water and wastewater collection than several neighboring communities, including some that don't soften the water. Finally, take note of a change to the city's garbage and recycling service the week of Thanksgiving. The holiday takes place on Thursday, November 22nd, and all services normally scheduled for that day will be moved to Friday, and all Friday collection will move to Saturday. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of November 14th to the 20th. If you would like to watch other stories from past shows, go to the city's YouTube page. You'll find all kinds of videos, including a few highlighting Bloomington nonprofits like Meals on Wheels, The Home Program, and Bridging. Check those out, and thanks for watching.